get what you missed on. Pearl Play with Yvonne Mutui. Streaming live on www.palradio.co.ke uh, so that you can see my wonderful guest who is already here with me. Hi, Mike. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so excited to be here. Have you ever thought of being a DJ? Not a DJ, mm. a presenter. Oh, really? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Uh-huh. Can you okay, just introduce the show? Okay. I'm Mike Mutune. Uh-huh. I, I love Jesus. Uh-huh. I'm born again, uh-huh. full of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, fellowship at the House of Grace. Okay. I'm a leader of a worship movement, street mm-hmm. worship movement, street yeah. praise. Mm-hmm international great yeah you had to introduce yourself i was actually giving you a chance to outshine me in my job but since you missed it <laughs> since you missed it that's okay you can text uh, us live at 0702-969-969 in case you tuned in and you have any question for mike mutune mike i met you through street praise and yeah. i remember i have a couple of friends actually my awamuti mm-hmm. wadi kivele Paul Sapanjo. Mm. Those are my friends, by the way. Wow. But uh, yeah, the, the first time I went for Street Praise, I was like, wow, you guys are doing an amazing job. For how long have you guys been there? Four years. Four years now. Yeah. And you have how many chapters? We have 10 chapters. Mention them. Uh, we have Nairobi. Mm-hmm. We have Ruiru. We have Feather Estate. We have Thika. We have Nakuru. We have Machakos, we have Kampala. You have uh, Kampala? Yeah. Come on. Uh-huh. Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned all of them. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But that is for in four years you've been able to start street praise at all these places. Yeah. That is amazing. But before we get into talking about street praise. I'm curious mm-hmm. about you mm. because for the longest time I used to think you're a pastor's kid and that is why you're out here doing things for Jesus. Until you told me you were not a pastor's kid and I'm, I'm not pleasantly surprised. Kid. I'm not a pastor's kid. So where did this passion come from? Just tell us about that. Now, okay, uh, life is interesting. When I was a toddler, when I was like um, four years, when people were saying their dreams, I want to become a pilot, I yeah. want to become... I used to say, when I grow up, I'll become a pastor. No. <laughs> Come on. Did yeah. kids used to laugh at you when you say that? Yeah, it, it, it was confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was confusing. Mm-hmm. But uh, when I was growing up, mm-hmm. I, th- I, I was like, ah, this thing I was saying when I was a child, ah, it was just, it wasn't. It was real. serious. Yeah, it wasn't serious. I was just talking. But come to the late teens, mm-hmm. it started coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At what age? Around 19, yeah. What were you doing? Preaching to people? Yeah, I was very active in our church. Uh-huh. Um, I read a book by Kenneth Copeland. Mm-hmm. That book changed my life. What book is this? Uh, actually, it's a devotional. Uh-huh. So the book is just uh, every day you can read something new. Oh, okay. So uh, I grew up in traditional church, like uh, the main, I don't know, I, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't know how to put it, but in the mainstream church, like the old churches, mm-hmm. you don't speak in tongues, you cannot, yeah. uh, they don't believe in people getting healed yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So when I read this book, this book drove me crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, this guy was talking about how he can pray for the sick, they get healed, mm-hmm. stuff, stuff. Mm-hmm. And the importance of prayer. So I started, I became a very prayerful person. I started going out to share mm-hmm. about Jesus. Mm-hmm. I started laying hands on sick people and they were getting healed. Yeah. Wow. So that thing started. And this is at 19? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so I, later I joined a mission school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is after high school. After high school. Yeah. You were serious about this fussy thing. You ever for <laughs> once just sat back and thought, ah, maybe, maybe she'll pursue something else. Or yeah, your parents. But, but I, actually, I'm not a pastor. You're the, not. Why do we call you Pastor the thing, Mike? The things I do are, are not for a pastor. <laughs> yes, I do ministry, but I do ministry, but I'm mm-hmm. not a pastor. What Even in our church, they don't call me pastor. They call you. I'm a member. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, humility, <laughs> Nayo. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I'm a member. I take the back seat. Mm. 
Yeah. So I'm not. Uh, my joy is not even the title. Is mm-hmm. when I see people getting saved. Wow. Destiny is changed. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Amazing. You've told me a wonderful, wonderful story that your mom actually got saved when he when she had you preach. So, um, my. My parents are not pastors, mm-hmm. as you thought. Yeah, <laughs> actually. So my dad does not even go to church. Mm-hmm. The last time I heard him say he cannot go to a, to a church because the pastor is not educated. The pastor doesn't have a degree. He can't listen to anyone wow. <laughs> below that. So, so we told him um, church is... It, is is more spiritual it's not intellectual <laughs> he was like no i can't listen to a fool <laughs> oh my goodness what uh, okay <laughs> oh wow yeah so um, my mother was was born again when she was a little girl okay but when she got married to my father she stopped church things oh, wow. up until when i i started I joined ministry. I don't know something. I don't know what happened to her. Mm-hmm. She just came to visit uh, my uncle where I was staying. Mm-hmm. I had gone for prayers. Mm-hmm. And she told my uncle I want to get born again. When I was I was in prayer and fasting in wow. some place. So my uncle called me, tell me, your prayers are working because Aww. your mother has given her life to Jesus. Wow, amazing. And she m- went to a Pentecostal church. And she she became serious with God. Wow. Yeah. That is amazing. That yeah. is completely amazing. I just love that testimony. Now, I want you to tell us about Street Praise and uh, how it began, how we got to be where we are right now. The challenges that you have faced, you know, singing in Nairobi at Kencom, you know, and on all the streets. We're talking about street evangelism with an amazing man, a young man called Mike Wutun, the leader of Street Praise International. Now, I don't know if you've been walking around town, especially on Friday nights. Probably Kencom, you'll see a group of young people singing and praising. Where where exactly are you in Thika? by the way in Thika we are our opposite society stores ah yeah okay if you've seen the map of Thika opposite uh, society stores or where else Nakuru, Nakuru where are you Nakuru uh, outside Gilani supermarket on Tuesdays on Tuesdays yeah so from Monday to Friday you're moving to these different towns to lead street praise yes except Wednesdays uh-huh. we take a break and we go to our churches for Bible study Hey, because you have to be, you know? Yeah, we encourage people to be connected to their churches. Yes. Don't join the ministry and forget going to go to church. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So on Monday, you're in Machakos. Yeah, Molumutisia Gardens. Ah. On Tuesday? Nakuru, uh, Thika. Mm-hmm. Uh, some other guys used to be at Majengo, mm-hmm. but have, they have not met for some time. Uh-huh. Yeah. At Thursday? Juja, Jaquat Main Gate. Ah, Jaquat. What's yeah. Jaquat Main Gate? Spell Main Gate. Yeah. Friday, Nairobi. Yeah, harvesting the students there. Yes. Great, great. Yeah, this is the way to go, man. I mean, yeah. they're being stolen by all these vices that are going on around campus. But it's good what you're doing, man. It's really amazing. But I want to know when you started, because when you started at Kencom, right? Yes. How did you deal with Kanjo in that Kencom place? How did you do that? Because like kelele mna pigenga pale kelele takatifu, it must have cost you some trouble, did it? Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's very complicated to get permit to preach outside nowadays. Yeah. Actually, for for some time, mm-hmm. uh, the excuse before Corona was Al Shabab will hit you if you gather church people. Al Shabab will hit you. So there, are, there there's always stories coming up why mm-hmm. you are not allowed to preach in the street yeah and then there is a uh, noise pollution mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff so um but what uh what uh, you can do is that you can't put big p out there you'll be arrested yeah in 10 minutes yeah that's why we we keep our street Ministry street praise very simple. Yeah, like, use uh, drums. Drums, <laughs> acoustic, yeah. a keyboard, yeah, two mics. Mm. Yeah, and we happen. Wow. So how did you get to first of all get permission to be at Kencom? 
Uh, we went looking for permission. They said, come tomorrow, come the other day. We risked our lives. We just <laughs> went and started. You just decided, uh, yeah, 20, said, 22, they will, they will guys. Find us there. Yeah, but they have been they have been very gracious to us. Mm -hmm. They know we happen there. Everybody knows. The po the police, the OCS knows. The there are young there people. Friday. There are young people who, who are singing at Kenko on Friday. Mm. The city council people know. Mm -hmm. Even when I go there, they look at me there. They say, "Do you know us? <laughs> you don't know us." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they 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 are not, they are like they don't really give us much trouble. Ah, yeah. and that's amazing. That's favor from God, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's favor from God. How many people have given their lives to Christ so far? Can come, can come. I can't count honestly. Can't count. Yeah. So every Friday you have people coming forward saying, "Yo, I want this year, Jesus." Yes, mm. actually, we have started a Bible study for them on Saturdays. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So when they give their lives to Christ uh, during can uh, during a street praise on Friday, you take their contacts. We take their contacts. Uh, we used to just send them to churches, mm -hmm. but sometimes when you follow up, you find that person got lost. So we said we start our own Bible study. Uh -huh. So we every Saturdays at Travis House second floor mm -hmm. from two p.m. Mm -hmm. We are with the new believers. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Man, that is amazing. Yeah. Amazing. What is one of the testimonies that you've gotten from street praise that you think about sometimes when you feel like giving up and you say, no, for this one person, for another one like this one, I'm going to go out there? Yeah, like uh, one of the most, uh, the things that really sparks my heart is there are young people who come to Kencom who are just complacent, church-going people mm -hmm. and they are set on fire for Jesus. Mm. and their lives change completely like they they become radical people wow. for Christ yeah their lives change and they get a family there mm. yeah they find a wife they find a good thing there a husband <laughs> they come, find come friends come like to street, street trees to, to street trees if you want to get married <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I believe someone will saw. <laughs> will saw you. If someone you're will saw me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you're telling me about street kids. Yeah, street kids. We have, we have, we, we take care of street kids. Mm -hmm. um, we used to feed them every Friday. Mm -hmm. Oh, But nice. it became very complicated. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, you are feeding them and they are still stealing from people. Yeah. Yeah. So we said we'll organize another feeding program for them. On okay. our, we have a day for feeding alone. Mm hmm. And um, another day for street praise. Mm -hmm. uh, but when they come, we always have, we always take care of them. Mm -hmm. We have uh, specific people mm -hmm. in the street, like we take care of them. Mm -hmm. Their upkeep, their food, yeah, where they stay. Nice. And we have some that have come from the streets and and gone back to school. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you take care of them. Yeah. Until they've gone to school. They have gone to school, they have become normal people from Amazing. the street. Amazing. Where do you get your finances from? Within ourselves. We raise the money within ourselves. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How many are you? Uh, we are very many. Mm -hmm. But the, the real committed people are like 50, 60. Nice. Yeah. That's a good team to have. Having 50 committed people, that's a very big team to but have. But we have churches of 10,000 now. Yeah, but you know, you always start somewhere, you know. <laughs> you always yeah, start true. somewhere. Yeah, Plus, true. it's just been four true, years. True, true. It's been four years. That is something to really uh, mm. thank God for. Mm. Yeah, amazing what you're doing, man. Mm. Any questions, send them in 0702 I'm hanging out with Mike Mutune, the leader of Street Praise Kenya. This is actually Street Praise International, right? Yes. I did not know about that. I thought it was just, you know, Street Praise Nairobi, Kenya, and that's it. Is that where you got the Street Praise idea from? Um, no, not really. Yeah, uh, it was just yeah. the Holy Spirit who dropped you that idea. Yeah, was it wasn't even street praise mm -hmm. as it is. Mm -hmm. It was, we just went. Uh, I just felt compelled to go to the streets. I mm -hmm. told my friends, we mm -hmm. went, did worship for 21 days, mm -hmm. but people said you can't stop, mm -hmm. so they said you have to be coming. So we told them every Friday. Wow, yeah. That's how it's, you started. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be a ministry. Yeah. yeah. But look at God. Look at God. Yeah. We have Shadrach here. Shadrach is saying, I wish to join Street Praise Bible Study. Yes. Come to Travis House. Mm -hmm. Second floor. Mm -hmm. 
2 p.m. on Saturday. Say that again. Uh, Travis House, mm -hmm. second floor, from 2 p.m. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. But we're also going to give them your contacts in, in case they would like to join. So many here saying, hi, I'm Judah. I joined Street Praise in 2019. I love its simplicity. We just glorify God only, not a church or a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah? Yeah. This is true? Yeah, it's true. Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Anna here. Say hi to Pastor Mike. Hi, Pastor Mike. Hi. He is our pastor, Chalazima. Mr. Chalazima, when you pass, I took you to find your humble look in Street praise unleashed the evangelist in me, and there is no turning back. Reaching out has been a delight since then, and I thank God. Wow. This is Anna. Wow. Amazing. Mm. Right? So you started with how many people to get to where you are right now before we take a short musical break? Four people. You were four in the beginning. Yeah. And right now you have 60 committed members. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Consistency is key, isn't it? Sure. Ah, we're having a chit chat with a, a young man called Mike Mutune. And uh, man, you really inspire me. My heart really goes out to young people who are so bold about sharing the word of God with others. It really goes out. I've told you about Agnes. We were with Agnes here. Agnes can stand in a matatu and preach to people. In a matatu, she goes out to the streets just talking mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. you know, street kids and mm -hmm. all that and, you know, preaching to anyone, anyone and everyone at any time. How important do you think it is for young believers to share God with other people? You know, the Great Commission says go ye into the world. Yeah. It doesn't say world come ye into the church. Ah, oh, yeah. So, uh, it's it's our duty to go out. Mm -hmm. It's like when you have something good, you need to share it. Yeah. When you have Jesus, you have to share. Yeah. You have to speak about him. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. And there's so many sacrifices you've made for street praise, haven't you? Yes. Walking from Omoja to? To Tao. <laughs> when we were starting. <laughs> but you know, God is wise. I cannot even he imagine. He gave the vision to our, our M. Kamba. Yeah. So me and my bro. <laughs> I... Long distance traders. Yeah. Me and my bro, we, we used to walk from Omo to town. Come on. We minister to people and we walk. Back. We walk back. Come on. A couple of times we were mugged on the way. Oh, no. Those were times we wanted to say, it's, it's over. It's over with this. It's done. It's done. But, you're, but we kept on. Wow. You remind me of a scripture in Matthew chapter 16. Verse 24, when Jesus was talking to his disciples and he was telling them, if you want to be my disciples, you must pick up your cross, deny yourself and follow me. So that was the cross you had to bear at that time. Yes. It was, it was very trying. So it was very, very hard for us that time. Yeah. What kept you going? You know, the gospel is essential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to share the love of God with people. Yeah. Jesus is the answer for the world. Mm. So uh, that conviction that we have to keep on. Yeah. Is what kept us going. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That's really amazing. Yeah. What do you think about these pastors who preach in matatus on the streets just to ask and then they ask for sadaka in between? Does that mean that actually asking for sadaka is all they want or it's just part of they need it? Uh, uh, first of all, I have to hear what you preach. Mm -hmm. If if you're preaching something sound mm -hmm. and um, you ask people to support you, I have no problem with you. Mm -hmm. But there are people who just take the Bible, uh, go to the bus, just speak things that don't even add up and then <laughs> in five minutes you're already asking people for money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Actually, us, we don't ask people for money. Nice. Yeah. I've preached in buses too. I've preached to the people in the street. Amazing. We don't ask people for money. Yeah. Because the money that is supposed to help you to preach the gospel mm -hmm. is supposed to come from God. Yeah. And people in his kingdom. Now these people are not even born again. They don't understand why they should give. give. In the first why are you place. asking them to give? Yeah. Yeah. You should, uh, when you're preaching, you need to trust God to provide for you. Mm. Yeah. Wow, and which is what you've done. You've just trusted God to provide. Yeah, it will be crazy. Place. Yeah. Uh, you will lack house rent at some point, but 
uh, you, you will work you will not have like um that luxury life yeah but god will provide for you god will come through for you he will yeah amazing yeah what would you tell young people who are who really love god in all genuinity that's a word but then have found it really hard it's really not in them you know to just go and share even with their friends at work or maybe with their family to just share the love of god with others what would you tell us uh just take the first step which is uh when you sit with someone next to a matatu just say hi hmm. how are you uh, do you know have you heard about jesus who is jesus to you start a conversation the holy spirit will help you amen yeah it's, it's simple yeah yeah start with a hi like hello yeah you know this gnld people these people of uh, um uh, network marketing mm -hmm. they are always talking about their product yeah one one uh, one day someone woke me up in a matatu mm -hmm. <laughs> I was sleeping. Yeah. I, I didn't know what this lady wants. Mm. So we talked and then she, she introduced me to network marketing. <laughs> if these people can be like this. You know? With just products. What about us? What about us who have Jesus, who have the truth? Yeah. Who's more valuable? If Jehovah Witnesses can come and <laughs> wait for you. You know? If you lock yourself in the house, <laughs> they wait for two hours until you come Until out. you open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have the truth. Right. We need to go out and and share it, and share it. Mm. yeah amazing man amazing yeah. Yeah. i'd like for you to pray for us uh and pray for young people as we also pray for you for street praise that god will use you more and more and more and you tell us how to join you on the streets and also how we can get to you for young believers who would like to be part of your saturday um saturday meetings also let us know how to join you send in your questions and comments zero seven zero two nine six nine nine six nine. mondays we're in machakos yeah mul muticia gardens mm -hmm. you can join us even if you're in nairobi you can actually join us mm -hmm. god has blessed us with a ministry of Yaiko. we always drive amazing to machacos mm -hmm. so you can amazing call me mm -hmm. and we hook up we go to nakuru every tuesday uh -huh. and there are also people who go to thika mm -hmm. and there are people from thika also same so, timings with nairobi so, same this thing happens in the evening okay what time to what when time people when people leave work yeah um six to eight okay six to eight but nakuru we do four to six because we have to come back and there's coffee oh yeah 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 thursdays juja jake what mm. outside the main gate mm -hmm. fridays can come mm -hmm. oh when are you to watch him gonna nairobi please kujeni can kujeni come. kwa streets mm -hmm. Saturdays we have Ruiru mm -hmm. and we also have the Bible study. Okay. In town yeah. from two, two mm -hmm. to five. Mm -hmm. Then there is street praise Ruiru happening from six to eight. Mm -hmm. Sundays Feather Estate, Pale Inja K A G Church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Six to eight PM mm -hmm. again. Wow. Yeah. So every day you're doing something for God, man. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It is not in vain what you're doing. Amen. You will surely receive your reward. Amen. Amen. But as we finish, I'd like for you to pray for us who so that we can be, become bold to share. Wow. You told me to you it comes naturally. To some of us, we need God to give us boldness because <laughs> Yeah, but once you take that first step, yeah. Uh God will empower you. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Just say like today I have to I will tell one person about Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you make that step. God will help you. And it could change someone's life completely. Yeah. Sure. Turn someone's life around, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Please pray for us. All right. Father, we thank you because of our nation, Kenya. We thank you because of everyone tuned in. We thank you because of this opportunity. And we thank you because you're sending a revival in our nation, mm -hmm. a revival that will hit the streets. Mm -hmm. A revival that will see families brought together a revival that will see many young people come to the Lord mm. and I pray that you send your fire into the hearts of your people into the hearts of the young people mm. so that they may go out so that they may be bold to share mm. your word so that they may step out 
and share of the love of God. Mm. We bless you and we praise you and we thank you because we are about to see a revolution in our nation, a kingdom revolution, a passion for Jesus. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for having come. May God continue to strengthen you and to give you favor with men. Asante. Amen. As you gain even more favor with him. Mm. I hope to join you this Friday for Street Praise. Sawa, sawa. <laughs> Asante. Yeah. Uh, you guys can follow us on our Facebook yes, page, yes. Street Praise International. Mm -hmm. And you can support us. You can partner with us yeah. in what we are doing in yeah. our outreaches. Yeah. Yes. Kindly give us your contact so that we can... Yes. Okay, my phone number is 0710 842 794. 0710 842 794. If you'd like to get in, to in contact with Mike, please text him on 070 uh, 0710 842 794. In fact, I will encourage anyone who's a new believer and would like to start learning the Word of God to join them on Saturdays, right? It's yeah, going sure. to be very helpful for you. Yvonne Dewey on Pearl Play. Weekdays from 10 a.m.